News this afternoon, the city of Waterbury has been dealing with an uptick in violence for quite some time. And this afternoon, in fact, we got some new information about a number of murder arrests that were made in the past few days. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins is joining us right now from Waterbury Police Headquarters with the latest this afternoon. Mark. Well, Mark and Aaron, you're talking about numbers. We're going to talk about numbers, and they're very high and very disturbing. Waterbury Police, in fact, Chief Fernando Spagnola speaking today about the alarmingly high number of murder arrests and charges in the Brass City, which include, of course, the arrest of Christopher Francisquino for the gruesome murder of his one-year-old daughter. Waterbury Police made that dramatic arrest at a city bus stop. That arrest part of a much larger number made at the end end of last week. Between Thursday and Friday last week here in Waterbury, seven people were arrested and booked on murder charges. But we take a look at, uh, at these people that are responsible for committing these homicides uh, that, that are released back in our community. Uh, you can see um, that there's a, a lengthy uh, criminal history when we, we review that information. And the chief did spend a lot of time talking about uh, offenders being released back into the community, how difficult it is for them to stay off the streets and how difficult it is for the Waterbury police to do their job as well. We'll hear more from the chief coming up uh, at 5 o'clock on Eyewitness News. Reporting live in Waterbury, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right.